Hey everybody, let's talk about Node.js and job availability. This is something I saw in one of the comments. A guy said, you know, all the nerds, all the programmers are all excited about Node, lots of buzz on the web about Node, but when he went looking for jobs, there were no Node jobs. I don't know how many Node jobs there are out there. I have the impression there's far fewer than you would think in the world because frankly node is brand new and in my opinion except for some very specific use cases meaning a very specialized situation where node is superior there's not much advantage to using node over more traditional web app server side programming languages so node is not a language it's a framework it's an engine but it is coded with JavaScript. And the big appeal of Node is people say, well, you write your front end code, your browser programming with JavaScript, so why not use JavaScript for the back end? Fair enough, but at the end of the day, if you're doing web apps, you're going to be doing HTML, CSS, JavaScript for sure, and then some back end language. The nature of the web is that it is multilingual. Yeah multilingual. So it, it uh, yes, HTML5 and CSS3 are certainly not programming languages. One's a markup language, HTML5, CSS3 is a styling language, and uh, JavaScript, of course, is a programming language. Now, some people love JavaScript, some people don't like JavaScript at all. JavaScript's got some weird behavior relative to other languages. And in fact, I would say that JavaScript is not necessarily the best first programming language to learn because it's got some weird behavior that could trip up beginners. Don't get me wrong, I love JavaScript and it was, my, it was my second language I learned in fact. So it's cool. Again, as I always say, when you're considering a programming language or a framework, nodes the framework, nodes the engine, well it's the framework, I would always look at the job opportunities to determine, well, to play a major role in terms of whether or not you want to become an expert in a particular framework or language. Programming node-based apps is very different from programming, I don't know, whatever, Python AI, you know? It's, uh, so that's a big factor. I talked about choosing languages and technologies in a previous vlog, so I'm just gonna get to uh, the steps, the three steps in terms of determining Node.js, Node in JavaScript, and whether or not you're going to do Node in JavaScript. So number one, step one, do a basic language course first. So if you're new to programming and you just heard a lot of buzz about Node, before you make that big decision, you should know, first of all, the decision of your first programming language that you learn is not super important because if you learn, let's say, JavaScript and then do some Node, and you see that there's no jobs in your area or you don't really like it, it's not time lost because what you're going to see is 95% of what you learn in JavaScript is applicable to Python, PHP, Ruby, C Sharp, Java, etc. So you're not really losing anything by learning a language. So it's not like you're going down a path you, you can't return from. So don't be so concerned about your choosing your choice of a programming language. It's not super important because you're not losing really. Step two, you should look at the job market where you want to work. Now you may be living in somewhere in the UK and you may want to end up in California. So look at the job market for Node and JavaScript programmers in California if you wanted to move there to see what the requirements are, how many people are, are doing Node work and JavaScript work. Very important that you look at the job market before you invest so much time into um, a particular framework. This is beyond learning the basics as I described in step number one. Step number three, as I've mentioned in previous vlogs, consider the type of work that you want to do. You may find that Node.js work is just not for you. You may prefer writing PHP apps using a WordPress base. Well, not really a PHP app, but you may, be, you may prefer working with small businesses doing WordPress work. Very lucrative. I talk about that because a lot of people have this weird negative feel, feeling about PHP, not realizing that there's so much work in PHP because so many small businesses depend on PHP and WordPress. So keep that in mind. So step one, do a basic language course. 
It doesn't, have to be, it doesn't have to be mine, but just to get a feel for programming, if you don't know programming. It doesn't matter what language. You could choose JavaScript, you could do Python, you could do PHP, whatever language you want. Just choose a language, learn it, so you get a feel for programming. Then look at the job markets. Look at the job market. Make sure there is an actual demand for the type of coding that you want to do. You may love ActionScript for Flash, but there's no Flash ActionScript jobs pretty much out there anymore. So kind of stupid to learn Flash ActionScript today if there's no jobs. Same thing with any programming language or framework, right? Number three, consider the type of work that you want to do. Very important because Programming a gaming engine, C++, a whole different type of programming than writing uh, PHP-based Laravel apps, which is a totally different type of programming than writing Python AI, etc., etc., etc. So you notice, when I'm speaking about Node and JS and jobs, you notice how I'm not paying too close attention to the merits of the Node engine and the JavaScript language. The Every language, framework, library has its strengths and weaknesses. Generally speaking, they're all pretty good, depending on circumstances. That being said, a friend of mine who has a company that's, uh, I think they're into six million now in funding, and uh, it's an educational app, and they use a lot of messaging. So they built the messaging component in Node, and they built the rest of the app in PHP. And what they discovered after building it in Node is that Node was, and this was about a year ago, they built this, it was immature, had some problems, um, but they got it to work, work fine, but they said they could have done pretty much the same thing with PHP without all the Node headaches. Now, I'm not bashing Node, but I'm just trying to give you perspective about how these languages are really neck and neck, and a lot of times the perceived advantage of a language, a framework, a library is really minimal and highly specialized. Anyway, that's what I've seen over the last 20 years of being a developer. Ciao, ciao.